hi guys so I'm trying to start this I'm starting this video again um, my DSLR camera that I always use just completely flipped out and just uh, the past few times I've filmed videos it has given me so much trouble it has lost clips it's lost full videos it just goes black it gets uh, so it Long story short, I can't use it anymore. So I'm using this old Canon power shot that I have from six years ago. And I have <laughs> mirrored rigged in the back because it doesn't have a flip out screen. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Struggle's real. Alright, so what I'm doing, what I just started to do but got rudely interrupted by my camera is I'm just getting ready. I want to film videos and I'm just putting my makeup on and I thought... I've never done a uh, get, get ready with me so that's what I'm doing and um, yeah so I've already put my primer on which I use the Master Prime Maybelline Blur and Smooth use that and then I used uh, my Born This Way from Too Faced and that's what I was putting on when the camera decided to turn off I have the I'm in the color ivory so I was just talking about how I'm not wowed by that foundation and yeah maybe it's just that my skin is getting more mature I just don't I don't care for it too much you know what I think I'm just gonna use some of this uh, Maybelline age instant age rewind dark circle eraser and this is in brightener illuminator I'm just gonna use some of that so I'm not well, I don't want to get too fancy here. Just a little bit. Holy smokes! Gosh, by the time I, I get this finished, this is a Sigma F80. That's very dirty. Very, very dirty right now. So, yeah, my brushes are in desperate need of a bath. Next, I'm going to set my foundation and everything with this RCMA No Color Powder. Just kind of shake it like that. And I'm using a Morphe E1 brush. I love this brush. I love all of the Elite brushes. So, yeah. Shake it up. There we go. I set my whole face. Um, I'm going to apologize right now I make some crazy faces when I put makeup on does anybody else do that <laughs> I know I'm not the only one I see makeup gurus and they're all like you know they're all like but men no I'm all like oh. <laughs> okay next for contour I'm just going to do a little bit of the it cosmetics Okay, I'm going to use this Luxie 504 large angled brush and I'm going to go into uh, this one right here. Man, I can't see. Oh, there's a mirror. <laughs> The next step I do is highlight. Okay, I'm just going to use my Morphe E3. I think I'm going to use the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This is in the color Radiant Lights. And it's really pretty. I like it. So what is everybody up to? What is everybody doing? Oh, woo. Bit much there, Cal. Okay. <laughs> Put that away. I like to do that before blush because I like my blush to kind of get into the highlight area. It just gives it a little more radiance. I'm going to use my too Faced Love Flush in Baby Love. Alright. Oh, this has a mirror. 
Oh, this is so awkward. I don't like. Oh, this isn't where I usually do my makeup. I usually like my vanity's here, so I want to. Oh, it's just a mess. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use the the potted uh, color pop brow color. I have the worst time doing eyebrows. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm not very good at it at all. So, sorry if you can't see my mouth. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can do this here on camera. Okay, this might be a little too dark. This is Bangin' Brunette. Actually, no. I mean, it's the same color as my eyebrows. So, and Dope Taupe seems a little light. Oh, boy. Oh! So, we'll see. And now I'm going to use the uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Brow Gel. <laughs> This is in transparent. I have transparent and I also have the, um, I think it's medium dark. This stuff's pretty good, I have to say. I don't have any of the um, high end brands, but this is really good. So if it ain't broke, why fix it? Okay. Brows are done. As done as they're gonna be, because I don't. I'm not too good at brows. <laughs> now the eye palette I'm going to use is the Violet Voss eyeshadow and this is the Holy Grail palette. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you hear angels? Yes, I do. <laughs> I love this palette. It is so gorgeous. So, uh, on a big old Morphe E30 brush. I'm going to go in with this color here. Thanks a lot, Tay. Okay. And I'm just going to dust it over all the area. All the way up. All the way to the end, the bottom. Okay. I hate not being able to see. I really want LASIK surgery. Okie dokie. And I'm going to go into... I think I'm going to go into Bestie right here. And I'm just going to get the transition going here. You guys can see okay I'm I don't know what's going on the camera the lighting I'm just all out of sorts right now so okay whoops sorry and then a smaller brush is the Morphe E17 okay I'm gonna just go I'm gonna go right into wine and dine right here I'm just gonna hop right into that one um, Start down here on the lid, just on the outer corner, and take it up into the crease, like so. I have the I have a bunch of these microfiber um, towels that I keep right next to, right in front of me actually. They do wonders for switching colors. Um, it just takes the color off. I did make myself a color switch. It's a um, donut for buns. You can make your own. It's the same material. It was like two bucks and I just put it in this little thing. So I do have that for a color switcher but also you can use microfiber towels. They're amazing. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna go in with hashtag right here, this orange one. Just kind of pep it up, make it look like a little sunset going on here. And I'm going above, a little bit in the crease and a little bit above with hashtag. I love the names of these. Okay, a little bit up there. Okay, see where I'm going with that? For the lid, I'm going to use this Luxie 211 brush. This is a really cool brush. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like pointed, it's a flat brush and it's pointed. It's really cool because you can get into the corners really well. So I'm going to go in with How you doing? How you doing? Right there. Whoop. Right there. Okay, let's see. Okay. I love these shadows. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Pigmentation is crazy. Okay, now I think I might go in with a little bit on top of that color with Ploof right here. It's a shimmery kind of pinky color. Just want to lighten it up a little bit. Ploof. <laughs> so cute. It's a crazy day. Oh my goodness. My son had some trouble today and when he has trouble, we all have trouble. <laughs> so blend this out a little bit more here. I think I'm gonna go in with maybe a little bit of teddy bear down here. It's this dark kind of brownie color. Just kind of in the outer corner. So this, I mean, I don't know. Let me know, guys, what I can do. I know this is not the ideal uh, setup for this kind of video, and I don't even know if I'm in focus. I don't, I don't know, because I can't see. And I don't have a flip-out screen. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. Do a little bit of this wine and dine under the eyeball. Hang on. Ah! Not in my eye. <laughs> Crazy! Well, a little bit of hashtag there. Okay. I might have overdone it down here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think definitely used a too big, too big of a brush down here in the under undercarriage. All right, bring some more of this. I'm going crazy now. It's so easy to just lose your mind when you're doing makeup. Like, I'm gonna add more, and I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna add more. So, yeah, basically, what's happening right now is I'm just adding more and more. <laughs> I look crazy. I look crazy. Oops, sorry. Okay. I think I think I need to put down the brush. Put the brush down. Alright, go up here. A little bit of trying to calm it down a little. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Uh-huh. Put that away. Yeah, I think 
think I went a little crazy with the eyes. What do you say? <sighs> All right. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put too much <laughs> eyeliner on. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Liquid Eyeliner. I mean gel eyeliner. <laughs> Okay, so my battery died, and I had to get a new one, so, alright, let's continue. Like I was saying, I can do a small little wingy wing, but even this little thing here, oh, it's all jacked up. Yeah, it goes bloop, <laughs> so it looks kind of silly. Oh well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When you get older, everything starts to fall. Eyelids, I mean, everything. I really didn't want this much eyeliner, but... Alright, so I grabbed the first palette that I saw, because I, I want to do a little bit of just... Uh, shadow on top of the eyeliner and um, just grab the Shan XO palette from BH Cosmetics and this is what it looks like isn't it gorgeous and this is the lipstick side I don't really use some um, lipsticks like that but you know, maybe one day I will <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this dark shade up here in the corner and just kind of go over, smudge it out a little bit. And now I'm going to go down the bottom a little bit. right on the lash line okay then I'm gonna just put a little bit of color pop honey dude <laughs> on the waterline to brighten things up a little bit I do without two hands is difficult. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of this primer lash food. I got in a, I don't know what box it was, but I got it in a box. Just a little primer. I don't um, curl my lashes because they will over curl and they'll be like, it'll be crazy because I have natural curl in my lashes so yeah. They go a little crazy if I curl. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the, their real, I just have a little sample travel size from Benefit. So, let's see here. Okay, I don't wear false eyelashes. Um, I mean, I think my eyelashes are, like, pretty long. So, I you know, I just don't feel comfortable in them. <laughs> Alright, so, let me take this down. My hair looks crazy. I have some crazy eyeballs going, so I don't want to go too crazy on the lips. I'm going to use... 
This is by Winky Lux, you guys. This is amazing. It's um, the color is Meow. I love this color. It is so gorgeous. Is it? Um, you know what? I'm not even gonna worry with a a liner. This um, this lipstick is so comfortable, and it's matte. It's so pretty. It's a lip velour. <laughs> Isn't it gorge? It feels like velour is so nice. All right, so here we go. Some crazy hair. <laughs> Maybe I should put my glasses on so I can see. Hello. <laughs> okay. Come on, hair. Come on. Look a little crazy, but it's the final look. Thank you guys for watching and I know this is kind of an awkward video and I apologize but I just thought what the heck I have to put makeup on anyway and um, just wanted to film. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> I love you and God bless. Bye.